Hi, uh, I'm Keith Knobs, and apparently right now I have crazy hair. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to share a little bit about uh, my story um, working as an off-Broadway actor uh, for the last 19 years. I did my first show, 18 years. I did my first show in 1998 called Stupid Kids at the WPA Theater, now gone, um, that moved to a commercial off-Broadway theater. And I've worked in a lot of uh, nonprofits as well as commercially in both uh, off-Broadway and Broadway. Um, and I guess the thing that feels important to me to talk about is that I've been doing this for a long time and I've struggled to subsidize uh, my decision to, to be an off-Broadway actor and work on, work on new plays, which is where it primarily happens. And I've subsidized with audiobooks, with television, with film, um, you know, commercials at different points. And uh, I always was happy to do it because I loved it and I loved the work. But there was always this idea of that we just weren't getting paid. The, the value of us to a production or to a theater company is made clear by it's, it's not a wage you can live off of. And so that determination of your value as an actor does affect you, but it but for most of your career, your love of it overrides it. And this is where they get us because, you know, we do love this. And if you don't do it, someone else will. But all of that over a long-term period of time leads to this weakening of, um, of your sense of self-worth to some degree. And I reached a point, I did three off-Broadway plays last year, struggled financially, and um, reached this point where I thought, well, you don't have to feel, you're not trapped by this. Like they, they're they making it clear in terms of what they think your value is, but you don't have to accept that. So, so I'm at a position after 18, 19 years of doing this professionally that um, I just started pulling a string and it's uh, leading to me going to school, going back to college to get my undergraduate degree. I started acting when I was 18. So I'm going back to study cultural anthropology and, um, political science and I'm at least for the moment uh, leaving the acting business I might come back um, you know uh, I might not um, but and I'm excited about this I definitely feel like I'm going towards something and not uh, and not away from something but I, I'd be lying if I said that the finances of it and and the progression of looking into the future of what those finances mean in terms of being married and having a family eventually and uh which a lot of our members already have and they they're struggling to make it work on these paychecks and when i imagine that I, it's i can't quite imagine the life that i i want to live and i i wish it was different and i hope it will be different um and i may be back to see that at some point but uh that's a little bit of my story and uh i just wanted to share that